Hey everyone, so for today's lesson, we're going to be dealing with the multiplication of fractions by fractions. So now we're dealing with two fractions instead of a fraction and a whole number. You're going to see this is a lot like multiplying a fraction by a whole number, just like we looked at in our spiral review today. Uh, this is cycle 1b, and we're again, we're trying to fluently compute with fractions decimals and percentages, but of course today we are dealing mostly with that fraction piece. All right, so real world math today. A chameleon's body is about one half the length of his tongue. A certain chameleon has a tongue two, that is two thirds of a foot long. Use an area model to show one half of two thirds or one half times two thirds. Remember, we're multiplying uh, with a fraction, that time sign, can you can switch that out for the word of. So this will be your first, your first factor of your second factor. All right, so what would this look like? Well, we would draw ourselves a little box here. So if we take, first thing we need to do is draw us a rectangle or a box and shade in one half of that box. That's our first, that's our first factor of our multiplication problem. When we've done that, we're going to do our second factor, so we're going to deal with our two-thirds. We're going to shade in one, two, three sections and shade in two of those thirds. So if this part is blue and then my two-thirds is yellow, what I have in the middle here where the blue and the yellow meet, we get, of course, green. This is going to be the answer to our problem. So if I have one-half of two-thirds, I get the leftover, which is one, two pieces out of one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to get one half times two thirds gives me two sixths. But what about the algorithm? So if we're looking at our algorithm for our equation, we have one half times two thirds. Basically, I'm going to take my numerators, one and two, and multiply those together, and our denominators, two and three. Just like we did yesterday when we were multiplying by the whole number and putting it over 1. The only difference here is we don't need to do anything with our numerators and denominators for our second digit because it is a fraction as well already. We can just multiply straight across. The 1 times 2 will give us 2, and our 2 times 3 gives us 6. So just multiplying the numerators together, 1 and 2, and the denominators, 2 and 3. And those become our new numerator and denominator. So our rule for the algorithm... Line up those numerators and denominators and multiply straight across. Pretty easy. It's going to be the shortest lesson we've had all week. All right, so let's try one together. You have four-fifths times three-eighths. Go ahead and work that on a piece of paper real quick or do this in your head. You should be able to work this out pretty quickly. All right, so again, I'm going to, I'm going to take my numerators. I'm going to multiply them together. Take my denominators and multiply them together, and that should give me a new answer. So I know I'm going to have, let's see, I'm going to rewrite here just so we can see it a little bit easier when they're across from each other instead of at that weird angle. So I have four-fifths and I have three-eighths. Again, I don't need to do anything except for to multiply the numerators together, multiply the denominators together, and then my new product from those two things are going to come over to be my new numerator and my new denominator. So 4 times 3 will become 12 or 12 and 5 times 8 would become 40. So five, 4 fifths times 3 eighths or 4 fifths of 3 eighths is going to be 12 fortieths. A few things to note here. First of all, if you have a fraction of a fraction, that means you're taking less than a whole thing of something that is less than a whole thing. Your numbers are going to be smaller than either of your two, pro your two factors. Your product will be smaller than either of the two factors. Also, sometimes you will have this number like this, and of course, just like we have done the last couple days, you may have to simplify. Again, you just take what you can and simplify out. So I know that 12 and 40 are both multiples of 4. So uh, 12 is 4 times 3. 40 is 4 times 10. 3 tenths is actually as low as I can go. That is simplest form right there. All right, so that's how we're going to work this. 
nothing too difficult today. It's just like we did yesterday, only you'd have to do one less step by not having to worry about your whole number and creating that, uh, rewriting that as a fraction. You're just going to multiply straight across, simplify when you need to. So go ahead and try the guided practice below. I'll help you out with those after you've tried them. So go ahead and try all four and then uh, when you've done that, watch through as I work through them and make sure that you get to the same spot that I do. And then when you're done with that, you'll have a little bit of independent practice today on IXL. You're going to be doing uh, a skill where you are multiplying two fractions together, just like we're doing here. It should be quick and easy for you. And then we'll move on with the day. If you get done early, please, please, please go back and check out Missing Work through Canvas. If you need to know how to do that, go back and watch the video on how to find missing work on Canvas. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Please call us during office hours if you have any questions.